Hello, and welcome to the first replay of Salt the Earth. If you aren't familiar with Salt the Earth yet, it's a unique game that can be broadly categorized as an arena RTS. In Salt the Earth, you start by selecting one of five factions, customizing your units by selecting abilities, and then facing off against opponents in a quick best of three deathmatch. There are no buildings to construct, no resources to gather, just fast-paced multiplayer PvP action. We also hope to incorporate player feedback into development of both new content as well as the balancing of current units and abilities. Alright, with that introduction out of the way, let's get right into it. We're starting off here in loadout mode. Loadout mode lets us purchase units by spending gold that we receive at the start of every round. This first round, I've decided to start with three priests and two mages. These are going to be my main utility units for the next match. The second round starts, and as you can see, the enemy units are now visible to us. We can see that he's got the Lich King, some mages, and some standard undead infantry units. We're going to respond to this with a Guardian Golem and two human champions. These are very strong offensive and defensive melee units that are going to pair very well with the human priests that we picked in the first round. You can see that I've got 75 gold left over, and as the third round starts, that gold spills over. This lets us not worry so much about spending every piece of gold per round. The third round, I'm going to spend all of my money on getting as many human warriors as I can as possible. I want a very thick front line with a lot of health and defense to really buy me the time that I need to get the most out of my champions and my mages who are going to be doing most of the damage. Alright, and we're right into the match. The game places our units in formation for us, and as we move forward, you can see that the system preserves those formations, keeping our melee units in the front and our ranged and utility units in the back. I'm going to try to start off the fight here by harassing my opponent with some arcane barrages. Uh, I don't get enough time, I think, here, so I, I blink back my mages back into safety here. There we go. And you can see that I've been caught towards the bottom here. My warriors, they're just kind of standing there, and I... I wasn't ready for that. I didn't expect my opponent to wrap around that center island there. I pull my priests back to get them in position to heal, and you can see that my mages in the back are stuck fighting this warrior. Now this looks like a really bad spot for me. Most of my opponent's army is about to hit my priests, which are very precious units to me, and I need those priests to heal my units and keep them alive. My arcane barrage from the left there is doing some good damage, and I seem to have come back a little bit despite losing all of my priests here. The Necro Titan is chasing my mages, but as soon as I blink away, he resets and my opponent, it's going to take him a while to realize uh, that he left that Necro Titan over there. This is looking pretty good for me. Um, I have more units than my opponent. Uh, I've got my mages down there. The Necro Titan is still idle on the left there. I've got some magic damage coming down. Uh, but here comes the Necro Genesis, and that's a powerful ultimate right there. My opponent gets a full resurrect. Uh, bringing back all of their units. And, uh, I think this is going to put me on the back foot here. I don't know if I can come back from this. He's still got his uh, one one necromancer there. He's still got no. He's got two more two more necromancers, and I can kill those. But there's already so many units back alive, and I'm down to just three units. You can see at the bottom, I've got full ultimate in the bottom right, but I've got no units to cast it. Uh, all of my priests are dead, and uh, I think this first round is going to go to my opponent here. Alright, and here we are in the second round. You can see that there's some visual bugs left over from the first round. This game is still in beta, and it's not perfect, although I'm very happy with where it is. It looks like my opponent is coming from an engagement from the south. Uh, I, I like this engagement. It's just wide enough for my formation, and I think I can really hold this choke point here. Uh, this is the kind of straight-on engagement that I just really want when I'm playing humans. I've got my mages already channeling Arcane Barrage. I pull my, my priests back, they're healing. Everything looks to be in a good spot. You can see there's some health missing, but everything's looking pretty good. Um, now, here I'm going to cast my triple Holy Wrath and really get some AoE damage down on these undead units. I'm going to blink my mages forward, and by combining the Arcane Barrage from both mages, I'm able to get one of those Necromancers down pretty quick. 
And that's going to reduce the amount of units my opponent can resurrect. That's a big win for me. I'm already at full ultimate here, so I'm going to use my ultimate, a Seal's Wrath, right here. And look at the damage. It's just going to take down that Lich King and that Necro Titan very quickly. It looks like that's going to be it for the second round. Just... And here we go for the final round of this best of three matchup. The score is 1-1, one, one, and I'm going to take this all the way to the far south of the map in these tight choke points. I'm hoping to get another favorable engagement like that second round. There's no fog of war in this game, so my opponent can see exactly where I'm going and can just, you know, meet me there. And I'm also able to spot, you know, wraparound attempts. My attempt to poke here with the mages doesn't go quite as well, so I, I take the rest of my units and I just pull forward straight into the engagement. Uh, it looks like most of my units have connected pretty well. I'm pulling my priests back to keep them a little bit safe, and I try to play offensively with my mages here, but it looks like I have to blink even further behind to get the engage that I want. I'm going to drop some more Holy Wrath on the, uh, the melee line here. And kind of push them a little bit. It looks like I'm able to take down another Necromancer from behind here, and my, my opponent seeing this sends a couple undead warriors, but I think the response on this is a little bit inefficient. It's not enough, and it's a little bit too slow. I'm getting close to ultimate here, and I know I'm going to be able to punish my opponent if I get ultimate. It looks like the Lich King is about to go down, yep, and that leaves my opponent with just a handful of units, no units left to resurrect. Seal's Wrath is just really melting that Necro Titan, and that's going to be it for the third round. If you enjoyed this video and would like to keep up with Salt the Earth updates, please check out our website and follow us on these social media accounts.